Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking mainly about Episode 9, so it's not this week's episode, but the week after. So, Supergirl does return very, very soon, in literally a few days' time. It's currently the 20th, and it's coming out this Tuesday. So be on the lookout for my review. It's going to come out right away after the episode airs on the 24th. And then after that, obviously, we'll break down the trailer for this episode, episode 9, and we'll continue that sort of schedule, and you'll have lots of bonus videos. I've just been busy recently, and that's why I haven't been able to have daily uploads up. However, I am back, and I'm going to try and make as many videos as I can whilst I have a couple of days off. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So the official synopsis for episode 9 and the photos have been released. I am making this before episode 8 comes out, so I'm sure quite a lot of you guys are going to come back to this video just before episode 9 airs, because... I mean, it does cover a lot of what to expect in the episode, that's what we're going to be talking about, so yeah, maybe hello to you future people. However, for now, let's go ahead and get right into this. Let's start with the synopsis. So the synopsis goes like this, Supergirl and Kelly team up. Kelly meets Joey, a young orphaned alien boy who is acting out in foster care because he fears that there is something wrong with his brother, Orlando, who is incarcerated. Kelly asks Kara to help her investigate, and they stumble upon abuse at the prison. Meanwhile, Nixley crashes one of Nia's dreams and asks her for help. This is going to be airing on the final day of August on August 31st, so be on the lookout for that. Obviously, it's going to be a episode mainly centered around like the journalism aspect of Supergirl, because you're going to have Kara and you're going to have Kelly as well, going on this mission to kind of find out what is happening in this prison where Orlando, the brother of the new orphan alien boy who is Kelly's new friend. So they're gonna discover that there is abuse at this prison. I feel like we've had a similar story only because we've been to the prison lots of times or like various prisons, but mainly with Lena. She goes to this one specific prison quite a few times in the past few seasons. So we have had stories in prison and obviously there have been lots of different TV shows that have covered similar stuff, but it's going to be interesting to see Kelly and Kara on this mission by themselves, and I think by the end of the episode, they're probably going to expose this to the world, and, you know, they're going to get what's coming to them, the people who are the abusers. But, meanwhile, Nixley crushes one of Nia's dreams and asks for her help, so what could she be asking for in terms of help? Well, I'm not entirely sure, because... I think there is a few options. I feel like my instinct is to say that Nixley is probably going to trick Nia into doing something, and that's why she's shown up in the dreams. But on the other hand, she could turn out to be good, but I'm going to say it's pretty unlikely that that is going to go down like that, because it seems like Nixley is going to be a kind of big bad who's going to stick around for most of the season up until the series finale. So. Definitely something nefarious is going on, and I have no idea how she's able to tap into one of Nia's dreams. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, so let's move on to some photos that they released for this episode. So this is inside Nia's dream, and it looks very much so like they're under the moonlight. That is the effect that the lighting is going for. Nia is in this kind of cool-looking icy dress, I would say. That's how I would describe it. And it looks like this is some fantasy that she's having. It definitely feels like something out of a fairy tale. So I presume that this is definitely inside Nia's dream. And this is the point where Nixley is going to crush it. And I think we have a photo of that later. But we'll get to that. We're just going to go through these photos chronologically as they've been released. Okay, so inside what looks like to be a new apartment. I think this is a new apartment for Kelly and Alex. Unless they've revamped it, or I'm just totally blanking on what their apartment looks like. But, it's really nice, and you got the whole of Team Supergirl there. Obviously, I don't think Brainy is here, but he could be, like, in the corner somewhere, maybe making some dinner or something. But it does seem like Kelly is doing a speech, and Alex is replying. And in the background, we have Kara, and also we have Jean, and they're all toasting something. 
and it looks like maybe they're having like a movie night because you know they got some snacks they got some beers and stuff so it looks like they're having a good time and definitely having a good time in this other photo great dance and photo with Kelly and Alex they're all smiling and all happy it's great to see you know the whole team reunited and just having this intimate kind of scene I don't know how long it's going to be but I'm looking forward to it okay so now we go back to Catco and it seems like they are doing some investigative journalism into Team Suga. And now this is very funny because you know you've got the whole team literally standing there. Obviously William doesn't know that much but Nia and Kara are totally in the know so you can see them in this photo standing opposite Akrata and obviously she has had interactions with them in the past and she does have some insight but she doesn't know who they specifically are and so on the board it says what do we know about the super friends and it's called cool that they've coined it officially the super friends because that is what they are known as and they've got some photos of the team here we got supergirl martian manhunter brainiac 5 dreamer and sentinel they even know about sentinel's name so i guess it's become like a big thing however it's pretty obvious who alex was however it must be noted that she was a deo agent and they are pretty under wraps so i guess it's kind of normal to believe that no one would know about her so that's why she is a mystery however you get this photo of supergirl it says kryptonian and then it lists her powers which says she's strong she's fast and she has flight and she has laser eyes it says which is very funny and Martian Manhunter is a Martian, he is a shapeshifter, and he is strong, fast, and has flight just like Supergirl. Brainiac 5 is an alien, he's a shapeshifter, and extremely, I can't really tell, but I presume that means intelligent, whatever's behind her hand. And then Dreamer is part alien, part human, source of powers, question mark i think that's what it says and obviously sentinel is just kind of your vigilante type because she doesn't have powers but then it says what do they do when they're not saving the world what do they do for fun do they have fun do they have regular lives slash secret identities do they have partners slash spouses and obviously they're going to try and dig into this and i presume this is going to be a continuing storyline over maybe one or two episodes and maybe Akrata is going to get closer to the truth and she'll find out that the people she's working with are the super friends literally so that's going to be a big deal when it happens okay so let's go to the orphanage and we have kelly's new alien friend called joey and so he's sitting on the bed he is reading a dc comic actually it's a captain carrot comic he's actually a character in the current dc comics big event which is infinite frontier and he's part of a big justice league multiversal team so that's pretty cool and a nice reference to see him actually reading dc comics in a dc comics tv show okay so let's move on to the next photo we've got photo of original team supergirl obviously you got alex car in the back and also jean at the computer and it seems like they are working on a case and I presume it has something to do with whoever is the big bad of this episode. Alright, so now we go over to the more journalistic side of things. We have Kara and Kelly going out doing some journalism. And they are probably talking to one of the guys at the prison or someone that knows something. And we've got a photo here outside of the prison facility. And you have Kara and Kelly as they look towards something in the distance. Seems like maybe Supergirl is going to be doing a switcheroo and she's going to be going into her Supergirl costume at this site. It looks like it's at the same site or maybe it's like slightly further away but it seems to be you know pretty close in terms of proximity in the episode. Okay and then John joins him in his full on Martian Manhunter suit and so it seems like they are looking up towards whoever the threat is and I guess this is before all of that with them actually in the field but you got Supergirl closer to the computer and now Kelly has joined them as they look at the screen. So Kara has made her return to Katko and William is seen greeting her I presume for one of the first times since she has been back obviously she's 
taken a leap of absence since she was in the Phantom Zone. Obviously, no one else can know that. However, that is the truth at the end of the day. But William is going to be sticking around this season. So, look forward to some of that. And the final photo that we have is during Nia's dream and we have a photo of the mischievous Nixley and so she has intercepted into Nia's dream so that about does it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching I'm super hyped for Supergirl to be coming back this week coming out this Tuesday so be tuned for my coverage in terms of that but for now, thank you guys for watching, leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.